Hi guys and welcome to a very special episode of the Langer Lions Football Adventure and it's special for one reason, we're in the first round of the FA Cup. Now, when I started filming this, uh, I was filming it on air and I went through about 15 minutes of filming and for some strange reason I didn't press record on my screen. It was honestly, you can't, you don't actually believe how so frustrating it was. But anyway, I'm going to take you through the game now. Um, I'm going to let you know if we won or we lost, of course. Um, but we was playing Scunthorpe. I went with a, a good tactic. I went with a, a 4 4 1 1. Uh, Tommy Lilly up front, of course. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm going to take you through the game, the game highlights, and just show you the game, how it went, uh, and then I'll reflect on it after. So we're in the sixth minute here. Ball whipped in from Scunthorpe. Colclough whips one in. Sigali away. And it was a great save from. Um, I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. Eighth minute now from Col uh, from Scunthorpe getting pressured straight away, uh, without a doubt. Um, it was always going. Excuse me. It was always going to be a tough game. Miller to Colclough out. Out to Tommy. This is twenty eighth minute now, guys. In the 37th minute, Stedman passed out to Sam McCaffrey. Sam McCaffrey to see it, Songwe, and Songwe did like some mad pass into the midfield, nicked by Slater from Scunthorpe, and then played a beautiful ball over to Miller. 1 0. 37th minute, 1 0 to Scunthorpe. It was the obvious, it was the obvious uh, result that was looking to go uh, the way it did. Um, but yeah, it was uh, at this point, I'm doing loads of tactical changes that have gone from balanced to cautious. Uh, and then and at some point then I was going from cautious to value, it was just a mad situation and in the 52nd minute, bad mistake by Scunthorpe Tommy Lilly put Tommy Lilly in dead easy, one arm I'm thinking, okay, okay, we've got a, got a little chance, a little glimmer of hope uh, but of course it was always still going to be hard, still going to be very hard um, 56 minute then, Scunthorpe had a free kick Van Veen with a free kick Stedman kind of parried it over the bar Stedman is our reserve goalkeeper for our, our main goalkeeper, Shepherd is injured at the minute. Whips one in, comes back out to Clark in the 57th minute. Seventy-second minute, a Kohei whips one in, gets nicked out, look at that for a goal. Taylor, Will Taylor, what a goal that was. Absolute fantastic goal. Then guys, 75th minute, I thought, wow, hang on a minute, 75th minute. Parter, we're 2-1 up here in the 75th minute. I'm, I'm doing so much defensive tactics at the minute, I'm like, trying to like recuperate, you know, I'm trying to stay positive as much as possible, uh, but um, recuperating, kind of, uh, trying to hold, trying to hold my thoughts in basically. We're 2-1 up against Scunthorpe. Taylor whips one across the song way. Songway, 75th minute, whips one in. That was so lucky by Goss. Unbelievable. Uh, at the top of the bar, goal kick. Then in the 81st minute, gets whipped out. Gets the gets whipped out by Songway. Then McGinley puts it back in. Butler. Whips one in then from Slater. Gilead. Gilead, sorry, Gilead. Whips one back in. And then Slater, back post, whips one to the far post. Two all, guys. 82nd minute, two all. Eighty fourth minute, whips one right over the top. I thought, this is it, game over, 3-2. He hits a post, but he was offside anyway. So it was a bit of like, pff, my heart was beating, beating fast. Then, 89th minute, whipped in by a Corey McGinley. Tommy Lilly, half volley to the far corner, like some kind of mad move. I can't believe it, guys. Let's go back and see that one again. 89th minute, a Kohei whips one in. McGinley tries to head it away for Scunthorpe. Tommy Lilly on like an half turn, half volley. Wow, absolutely amazing. So now I'm thinking defense, defense, defense. I'm thinking part of the bus, Sam Allardyce style. 
Um, and yeah, it was just a mad, mad game. Um, so anyway, guys, that was the final highlights. Went to the 94th minute, and this is the final beautiful picture that is resembling in front of your eyes. 3-2 against Scunthorpe, a League 2 side. We had a Van Rama North League side, a Regen team as well. Theoretically, a Regen team. Uh, the attendance at Hat home, I know it was at home, but it was, it was very, very, very... Um, nowhere near the favourites, nowhere near the favourites. Attendance, 3,000, maxed out stadium. You can just imagine it in real life. Um, look at the stats, guys. Well, what I was most impressed with about the stats was the uh, tackles won. Look at the tackles won. 91%, 21 out of 23 tackles won. I thought that was absolutely fantastic myself. Okay, I know they had 89 as well, but anyway, I thought it was great. Guys, we played well over the whole game. We had more possession. We had less shots, less on target, but the ones that we put on target, one of them didn't count. The rest, all three, counted. Guys, I was absolutely buzzing. Um, player of the match, Tommy Lilly. If you don't know Tommy Lilly, Tommy Lilly's stats are as follows. Um, he was probably classed Tommy Lilly as a, a Van Rama National League, if not League 2, pushing into League 1 stats, I believe. Um, but, you know, he's, he's, he's got massive potential and he's one of them that will probably uh, hit the Premier League in maybe. He's 18 years old, so he's probably going to hit the Premier League in three or four years' time. But anyway, guys, that is a final result. We are in the second round of the FA Cup proper. I'm just going to quickly take you through the stats um, of what we've done um, in, in, the season, in the season so far. So um, up to now, we, we started the season very well, as you can see, very well. Um, but then we, we actually took a bit of a lull in the league, to be honest. Uh, we've started drawing and losing some, and it's not been it's not been the prettiest sight, to be fair. Uh, but in the FA Cup, we won Leamington, uh, lower stuff, sorry. Then we won uh, Buxton, then we won Wrexham in the FA Cup, fourth qualifying round, which obviously put us into the proper. Uh, and what I'm going to do now, guys, uh, sorry, just look at the league table as well very quickly. The league table, that then puts us in eighth position. We are currently... Um, it's quite look how tight it is though guys still very tight after 18 games so uh, you know we've got Blythe next I believe we've got Blythe next in the league um, let me just double check yeah we've got Blythe next to home in the league uh, Blythe are doing well of course they're top of the league but um, it's, good. it's going to be a tough game but after that performance it's going to be good it's going to be a good game um, so yeah that's it really that's that's guys thank you very much for watching we're in the second round of the FA Cup I tell you what let's see uh, let's go to um, the inbox and let's try and uh, get the FA Cup round draw within this little video here. So guys, I have, unfortunately, <laughs> this is a bad video, isn't it? I've unfortunately not managed to screen, uh, print screen uh, my my old uh, uh, recording. And then I speed, I speed uh, press the uh, next on red and then unfortunately I just went through the FA Cup draw like in seconds and it said you have got... Uh, Unfortunately, you've got Bur Burton in the FA Cup third round. So, yeah, guys, we're playing Burton uh, at home, again, which is good. Um, but, yeah, we're playing Burton. Very tough side. Very tough side. League one outfit. Um, I love watching Burton. I really love their kit and everything like that. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry about all the little mess-ups, but uh, you get the gist of everything. And uh, we're in the third round. Right, so, we're in the second round of the FA Cup, which is great. Um... And it's going to be great, uh, great income for us as well. Uh, so yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.